astronomers may not have observed the fabled stairway to heaven but they have photographed something almost as intriguing ladder like structures surrounding a dying star a new image taken with nasa's hubble space telescope reveals startling new details of one of the most unusual nebulas known in our milky way cataloged as HD 4417 this nebula is more commonly called the red rectangle because of its unique shape and color as seen with ground based telescopes hubble has revealed a wealth of new features in the red rectangle that cannot be seen with ground based telescopes looking through the earth's turbulent atmosphere Details of the Hubble study were published in the April 2004 issue of the Astronomical Journal. How was the unusual red rectangle nebula created? At the nebula center is an aging binary star system that surely powers the nebula but does not as yet explain its strange colors. The unusual shape of the red rectangle is likely due to a thick dust torus which pinches the otherwise spherical outflow into tip-touching cone shapes. Because we view the torus edge on, the boundary edges of the cone shape seem to form an X. The distinct rung suggests the outflow occurs in fits and starts. The unusual colors of the nebula are less well understood however and the speculation holds that they are partly provided by hydrocarbon molecules that may actually be building blocks for organic life The red rectangle nebula lies about 2300 light years away towards the constellation of the unicorn Monoceros The nebula is shown here in great detail as recently reprocessed image from Hubble Space Telescope. In a few million years, as one of the central stars becomes further depleted of nuclear fuel, the red rectangle nebula will likely bloom into a planetary nebula. The red rectangle nebula doesn't merely look like modern art cubist desire. Its very light is strange, its composition is food for philosophy, and it remains a hot venue of current research. Located in the constellation Monoceros, its central ninth magnitude binary star was discovered in 1915 by the famous double star hunter Robert Grant Aitken. Things changed in 1973 when a rocket-borne infrared sky survey discovered the ruddy nebula surrounding the binary. soon labeled HD 44179 after the star's catalog designation it took years and better instrumentation including studies performed by the hubble space telescope to fully reveal just how odd and intriguing is this dusty gas cloud 2300 light years away from us the first head twister is immediately obvious In a universe of vast swirling curves where celestial straight lines are almost non-existent and geometric shapes the stuff of dreams, we stare at a giant rectangle or perhaps it's more like a squared off bow tie or a woven god's eye or maybe it's a giant X with interconnected ladder-like steps. However you see it, the question remains. Why should gem-like symmetry materialize in an enormous gaseous nebula? Then there's its color. Spectrographs detect glowing hydrogen, the normal humdrum white bread emissions of nebulae everywhere. But here it's diluted and dominated by a different shade of orange red given off by glowing dust. dust fluorescing the dust in our homes thankfully doesn't glow and neither does the celestial variety physicists are only recently homing in on the composition of this nebula and it's not what they expected at all as for the intermediate ladder like connections which make the whole thing resemble a spider web they could be places where eruptions deposited extra material every few hundred years these straight features resemble no other nebula in the universe although the very recently found red square nebula does look somewhat similar like a skimpier lower cost version In any case the rungs could be expanding structures which NASA or ESA describe as shaped like wine glasses seen exactly edge on so that their rims appear as straight lines
In 2009, a red rectangle report in the Astrophysical Journal said that the central binary stars orbit each other every 319 days. One is a normal hot star and not a white dwarf as previously believed. It pulls off material at 500 km per second from its cool red companion, a star that weighs the same as our Sun. The pair's highly eccentric orbit yanks off far more material when the two are closest together, about once a year. When this cool mass-losing star collapses into a sizzling blue dwarf sometime in the next few thousand years, the UV flux will crank way up and then the whole shebang will glow, as mentioned, as a planetary nebula. So interesting, right?